So overall, the MIDI plus Smart Face 2. So overall, the MIDI Face Smart. So overall, the MIDI. I want to start off by saying the intention of this video is to show that for about 30 bucks, you can find an audio interface that will allow you to record your own music at home, provided you have a few things. Headphones, some sort of laptop or computer, a musical instrument. Now there's always going to be various cables and adapters that you'll need, and those are a couple bucks. I'm not really including those in this estimate. But I want to start off with that because I don't know if this actually works, and that's what we're going to get into in this video. So let's do it. So I have a buddy that hit me up a few weeks ago. He knows that I record music at home and he asked me, hey, if I wanted to start recording some guitar at my house, what do I need? And the truth is you really don't need anything too complicated or that expensive. I found this on amazon.com. This is the MIDI Plus Smart Face 2 USB audio interface. So let's open this thing up and see what's inside. <laughs> So inside the box, you get your Smart Face 2 MIDI Plus interface, one user manual, one USB cable. This looks like your standard interface. It's interesting that it's made by a company called MIDI Plus because from what I can tell, there are actually no MIDI inputs or outputs on this. But nowadays, almost any modern instrument uses a USB to communicate with your system. So we're gonna overlook that for now, but you can find audio interfaces that have traditional MIDI out which is good if you run some of the older equipment. So this is a pretty basic audio interface here. You can see it's got two XLR slash quarter inch style inputs. It's got a volume control for each and then a master volume. It's got a headphone jack next to that. On the back side, we've got some line out and some line in connections there, as well as a few on off switches, which control things like phantom power, uh, the monitors on, stereo mono off. Actually, I think that's kind of interesting. I like that there's a stereo mono button because some of these don't have that. And I find that mono mixing sometimes is very important to seeing how everything fits in a mix. And then of course it's got a USB jack to connect to your laptop. So let's plug this thing in and let's see how it goes. First things first, the owner manual says, plug the smart face into your computer. I have done that. I downloaded two different softwares to try out with this. Reaper, which I've never used before, and Presona Studio One. I didn't pay for any, these are the free versions, just to get an idea of what you can expect if you're trying to get recording for 40 bucks or less. But let's open up Presonus. I've got this now to transfer the sound from this cable to the headphone jack, but it's still not going into the computer. So current update, I'm having a little bit of an issue with, I can get the sound to go into the MIDI Plus. I can hear it out to the monitoring headphone jack. I cannot get any of the DAWs to receive that information. So despite this thing being plug and play, I am now downloading the Control Center app, despite this saying it was plug and play. After a bit of tinkering, I'm back. Remember that old phrase, see the forest for the trees? Well, that's kind of where I was at. I could not get the MIDI Plus Smart Face 2 to work on Presona Studio One, no matter how hard I tried. I downloaded apps, I created aggregate devices. Whatever I did, I could not get it to work. I opened up Reaper to see if maybe there was a different issue. Reaper had no problem recognizing it. It worked fine, I could record guitar. So for fun, I'm downloading Avid's free version of Pro Tools to see if that has any issues with the MIDI Plus Smart Face 2. And that's where I'm at now. Recording some audio, potentially. Okay, so far so good. Let's try input two. I've got this. Korg synthesizer plugged up here to the MIDI face instrument, to the MIDI face instrument 2. I've got some stupid little pattern recorded on this Korg. It's using the MIDI and Pro Tools to transmit the data back to the synthesizer, which is then sending the audio into audio interface 2. And it comes up here on the interface. So that tells me it's working. if I would recommend the MIDI Plus Smart Face 2. I messed around with it for about two or three hours just to get it to work with Pro Tools and Reaper, and I never got it to work on Presona Studio One. 
There's also not really much of an online support community for the SmartFace 2. The manual glosses over some of the major things like, what if your computer doesn't recognize this device? Then what do you do? I don't know how many other people would have the patience to try and figure that out, especially if they don't have experience with digital audio workstations and dealing with audio interfaces. You know, I would splurge if you're really tight on money, maybe look at Reverb and see if you can get a used Focusrite Scarlet for 60 bucks or something like that. It's got loads of support. People have been using it for years. They figured out how to make it to work with nearly every digital audio workstation that's out there, whether it's Presona, Studio One, Logic, Reason, FL Studio, Cubase, Cakewalk, GarageBand. If you're really in a tight spot, the SmartFace 2 will do it, but it's gonna take some coaxing to get it to work. The inputs did work. The uh, phantom power for both the first input and the second input did work as well. And I actually did appreciate having the mono slash stereo button on the backside, because I do think when you're mixing, having the option to listen to your entire mix in mono can actually make you a better mixer in the end. I don't think it would ever become the center point of any sort of mini home studio. Certainly not long term anyway. There's too much noise on the converters. It's not gonna be clean enough for anything I would feel comfortable putting out there. All right guys, that's my quick review of the MIDI Plus SmartFace 2 audio interface. Next time.